Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Corinne Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is another episode of D4, Democracy 4, Season 2, Episode 2. Welcome to TST TV channel. Okay, so we are back in business. And the last episode, I have told you that we are excited that we have had control of obesity and we have control of the gig economy. We have a surplus. And I told you guys, uh, I will be explaining to you uh, the income, the expenditure, the surplus, and the reserves. Okay, so today's episode, we'll be looking at the income. The income here, we, we see that Income is what we're receiving from the citizens of this great country. We're receiving income taxes, payroll taxes, corporate tax, sales tax, car tax, property tax, capital gain tax, tobacco tax, petrol tax, junk food tax, inheritance tax, airline tax, alcohol tax, feeding cameras, citizenship for sale, citizenship, citizenship for sale, and state postal service. This is the pie, and the pie has, everyone has a slice of the pie. The biggest slice is income tax, okay? Income tax is definitely high for the middle class. Wealthy, there's nothing. I don't know why there's nothing here. For the wealthy, maybe because there's implement. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's why they're not paying no taxes. Okay. So I see why they highly trust. Oh God. Oh. Well, I don't have um. I don't have the assassination. So let me see why they're not paying any taxes. Oh, because they got all these other taxes. Well, they're not paying. Oh. They're not paying income tax. They're not paying property taxes, but they are paying cap corporate gains, corporate taxes, and heritage. Oh God, we're gonna have to see what good with that. All right, so let's come back. So this is the income tax again. Middle class is definitely getting hit hard. This is why they're getting hit hard because they're getting like eight and out. When it comes to maybe because they have it now, mind you, I'm new administration now. Old administration, this is not my policy. I did not implement this. We are just now learning about this. I am just now learning about this. So unfortunately, they have paid and getting royally screwed. I basically, I can see why they're unhappy. Okay. So taxes, property taxes, inheritance taxes, that's exactly what those wealthy people were saying. And then this is the lady here, and then they get in uh, health tax, but they have membership, right? No, maybe so, happy. These are all the people, we'll meet those people later in the episode. All right, so these are the income taxes. Okay, so payroll tax, uh, definitely at a, I don't know if this is an all-time high. However, uh, a lot of people are definitely, well, he's definitely not happy because he's yellow. He looked like he angry about his top is about to pop. Um, Self-employed is not happy. The capitalist is not happy. Wages and the GDP is a little bit of effect on it. All right, so we'll just come back and revamp that. Corporate taxes, they definitely... Uh, cap uh, capitalist is getting it wealthy. Okay, that's where it comes in with the taxes and corporate tax. You guys will read that just to um, you know clear your head and get a clear uh, ID ideal of what corporate tax is in this history, All right? All right. So sales tax. Uh. It seems like a lot of people are going to be mad. Well, eventually, we'll be able to fix all this. Like, trust me. Again, this is what what my first um, 
uh, predecessor, this is what he did or she did. And we're just looking at this because I did not touch any of this. This is what, what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this for the first time. So we're going to look at all this, especially the income taxes. Car tax. Seems like the motorist is pissed off. Now let me show you. Oh, can't do that. Got to um. Stick with episode. In this episode, we're sticking with this time. All right. So motorist membership, they mad, and also farmers, they mad. The motorists, they mad. So we gotta fix this, right? Capital gain tax. And it seems like just a little percentage people, self-employed members, self-employed. I guess this is something for the self-employed. Okay. Socialist, well, uh, wealthy is socialist happy. Well, wealthy is sad. Socialist is happy. Tobacco tax. Now, if you guys know, in the last episode, I slipped up and was saying political process that's a game that is almost like it's not like this but it gives you the feeling of a simulator and a strategic plan to help out as commander in chief and in that game as well as government one and they do have a government two government simulator two coming out soon i took the initiative to increase tobacco tax and also alcohol tax. And I tell you, no matter what you put on and in the game, they're still going to buy tobacco. No matter what you put. Cigarettes could be $100 and they still paying for it. I'm telling you, it's already like $15 for a pack of cigarettes and people still paying for it. And, 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 and the money is going to still be generated. So if I was to increase that up, I will get a load of money coming into the reserves because so many people will be the tobacco use. Let's just, I could revert this. If I was to increase this, look at this. If this was to go all the way up, right? If I was to put that all the way up, just like so, look how tobacco usage has increased. Look how equality had increased. And look how everyone has increased. But look at poverty. This money, it will go, look how much money will be coming in. 30, almost, I can't even squeeze it in. We're looking at $39.15 billion that if this was increased, and would you get it? Yes, you would. Because... People will always buy tobacco and people will always buy alcohol. Now, let's go to the alcohol taxes. This is another thing. You see how on the tobacco we got almost 30 something billion. If you was to increase this to 75%, because that's the highest I had it before when I was here, you will get 11.6 billion, point billion. And uh and that will go into the re and the reserves that will go into reserves no matter what people will always buy alcohol the consumption will always increase the poor that's what it says there it, it, it will go down or up mm -hmm. yeah it will increase people will start drinking more and more because now you would say that it would be bad but still people have no other choice because we have a lot of alcoholics no matter what it could be a arm and a leg for alcohol and they'll pay for it I, I hate to say that oh let me revert this sorry okay uh the petrol tax it's definitely um for the fuel I haven't really seen, I got to look at the motorists and everybody to see what, if there's a problem. I do know that the commuters, the motorists do have the red when I last checked. So I have to check that. And we have the junk food tax, which, uh, this is a, something that I believe that we might have in, in the episodes coming up. 
you will see that people will, you know, the quarterly report, there's going to be reports where people are going to go on the news and talk about this and how this junk tax, food tax right here, right now, is not benefiting, it's not helping them. So even when it's the cost, the income, let me see, plant-based diets, nobody, nobody's not going to really eat plant-based food. The people are not going to want to be happy with that. However, like the youth, they're not happy with that. Health is good because it is a tax rate to rechase unhealthy food, such as takeaway hamburgers, fizzy drinks, and high sugar, which is high, uh, high fructose corn syrup, or fat-containing pre-processed food. This right here will definitely, definitely be a problem. And we're going to hear someone who is definitely, I think she's like, she owns a small business. And I don't know if it's cookies or it's going to be some type of food. And she can't, it's going to be a problem because nobody's not going to be, oh, she's going to have to pay more money to get stuff for unhealthy food. So like sodas and you know, hamburgers. We, what, 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 who's, who's gonna, who's gonna have to pay for majority of the hamburgers and fuzzy drinks? A lot of the businesses, such as McDonald's, Burger King, White Castles, Carl Juniors, uh, Sonic, Hardee's, Bojangles. They are going to have to pay these taxes. They sell hamburgers and drinks. And people are still going to eat it. People are going to be mad, but they still going to eat it. All right? Inherited taxes. They feel that if someone is getting money and they have a lot of money, that they will have to definitely, definitely add money, taxes to the inheritance. If you win the lottery in this country, you have to pay those taxes off. You have a house, taxes. You have a big house. You have mad cars. Taxes as well as insurance, everything will have to be implemented across the board so citizens can live a happy quality of life in our country. So inherited tax is something, and there will be more taxes that will be added in income taxes because, again, it has to get worse before it gets better. Airline taxes, people, and, and people, pe okay, people want to fly, so there is a, a policy where it's a frequent flyer, frequent flyer, policy but in this one this here is the airline tax where people want to fly and it private airlines tourists a lot of people feel that they are going to be mad behind it because if it's already at two percent but look if you was to increase it look how many tourists private airlines and travelers <laughs> it's not funny but i'm just saying they will be all pissed off at me and i don't know Right now, nowadays, right now, today, we're using the sky in our country because we have Amtrak and we have Greyhound. We don't have no high-speed train that is going to get us from Los Angeles, California, to New York in like an hour, two hours, three hours. It's just not possible. It could happen, but... I don't know why, but I don't know. I'm just saying. Accelero? It's not fast. If you look at all these other countries, they have so many trains that are high-speed trains. They put the track down. They lay, they lay the foundation. They say, screw you, property. We're laying down this for you. It's going to look good in the future, the longevity of the country. So, yes, we're going to build a high-speed train that's going to get us from Los Angeles all the way to New York. And under some time, okay? Instead, I have to take a Greyhound bus across country in days or the train in days. Well, we could, and plane, hour, but hours, but a train, a fast train, we're trying to get you there in like hours, a high speed. And they do have policies in this game where we can implement those things. And it's going to be cool. And you guys look out in the episodes to come. All right, so uh, speed cameras. Speed cameras, the motorist is going to be not happy, which I believe that speed cameras and cameras, period, especially in public, but 
excuse me, pardon me, I'm, I apologize, pardon my French. Uh, I believe that in public, anything, as much, put as many cameras as possible up in public, not on people's property, in public, and street as well, because as long as you're in public, I want to be safe if I'm walking day and night, okay? These cameras have to have some type of vision view. And also, just how you're making these smartphones technology, they should be able to zoom in on some high uh, noise or zoom in on a crime, zoom in on something high tech in the public, the public, the officials of that county, city, state has the authority to do what they need to do. So speed cameras is something that would be definitely forced. And I really hope that they do something with this daylight saving time because speed cameras at the time that kids get out of school and going home and the sun is going down and it's early outside, uh, you know, speed cameras, people run lights. At least you can get the tag off of the car if they hit somebody and cause uh, 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 maybe... Uh, um, a fatal collision so the cameras we try to work with the people right now it's outside of schools you know you can do it accident hot hot spots trails uh, then you could do resident areas and widespread and everywhere so right now we have it just outside schools okay and then citizenship for sale so this is um, something that I didn't really um, know anything about. Um, but here it says, with well, immigration cause concern about influx of low paid workers. So uh, apparently, let me see, super wealthy, wealthy, under middle class and middle class. So if I was to increase this, it seems like the wealthy and the capitalist will have a feel GDP, immigration, but if I bring it down, corruption will go up. I'm not trying to be corrupt. I'm definitely, I'll probably get rid of this. But again, this is not, I didn't implement any of this. This is something that was here from my predecessor. So I'm just going over it right here. And then next here in income taxes, the state postal service. So here, this here definitely helps out with monopoly for one where university service obligation delivery or address for the same cost. So right now it's low. Uh, it seems like private postals. Let me see. Lower, bring it down. They have it. But then the higher it's going to be. Let me see. Prefer the postal service is also a large creator of, of employment. That's right. That is right. So I don't know. Right now, um... It seems like, uh, I'm not, again, I don't know how, I would have to see, I would have to go to the people and see if this is going to work in a favor, and if it's not, I don't know, we have to go to this dude here and um, see what happens, okay? This is the income taxes. All right, expenditure is next. Expenditure is what I like to call spending. This is what we're spending. So, and the spending expenditure, I just say spending, we're dealing with state schools, state pension, military spending, child benefit, road building, health tax credits, space program, nuclear weapons, state house, state health service, intelligence service, Foreign aid, food stamps, disability benefits, social care, unemployment benefits, armed police, police force, technology colleges, science funding, state housing, agriculture subsidized, clean energy subsidized, refrigeration, CCT cameras, subs subsidized school bus buses, Biofuel subsidized, private pension, and other. All right. So the, the the bigger the pie, this is a pizza pie, and everybody has a piece of this perfect vegan, or should I say perfect organic 
vegan <laughs> uh, pie. And everything on here is organic, from the bread to the cheese to the meat. Everything is organic, okay? And if you like a little pineapples on there, that's organic as well. And if you want ketchup on it, that ketchup from the tomatoes, which is organic, is on this pie. Okay, this pie is good because we're feeding this to our citizens of the great country, which here we will see the state schools is the most that is eating the most out of the pie. And then we come to the state pension. Okay, so state schools. So state schools, I'm trying to see if I have enough time. Okay, state schools are definitely uh, something where free education for sure levels of literacy. So right now, private schools, if I was to bring that down, they will actually, let me see, wooden school huts. Oh my goodness, school huts. Um, shared textbooks, modern textbooks, and student laptops. I got to look at that private school thing because they're going to not be happy. But, oh, okay, press the time. Okay, so state pension. Here we definitely have uh, private pension, state pension. They actually, I don't know if they really happy with me. I don't think so. Military spending, I did tell you guys that the um, I did bring this down, so we had well trained. It was actually up, and the money we feel that could go into reserves to help out if we was to ever implement any services instead of you know at some point if we was to do this, we would definitely not raise income taxes for the great great people of this great country. Okay, so child benefits. Uh, this is a fixed payment made by the state directly to parents. And this is why I guess the parents, I don't know if the parents, uh, let's see, parents. Yeah, I think they, they're, I think they liking me. But the capitalists, they are not liking. But everybody else in the green. Remember, green is good, red is bad. But the parents, they're loving me, liberals are loving me. So yes, okay. Read it, get into it. Next, row building. Uh, I think this is kind of, I think at some point moving forward, we want to get this under control because I believe the traffic congestions, I think the, the more you put in the traffic congestion, the less you take away less. But the motorist is going to be bad. But we have to look at this because right now, if you go, when we talk to more, more of the people, we will see that it will, maybe it will be worse. Something. All right. And then uh, health tax credit. This is something that the private health care and the middle class and the high earners like, but the poor and the socialist doesn't. Okay, we have space program. Now, I think space program invests the country effort to explore space. I think the United States of America should always have a part to do with space. We have a piece of our continent and the world. And if we have that, then we should be able to own or not. Yeah, because we have airspace our airspace go all the way into space it's not just airspace at our level like the level that we can only travel and then when we go well but i'm talking about as big as the united states is that whole airspace like all the way into space should be ours and it should be ours because we have a lot of satellites up there and it's the united states our country I would hope it's our countries and nobody else's, right? So yes, so we should have space program. We should definitely be able to go and benefit from the space above. Nuclear weapons. Now, nuclear weapons are definitely something that I believe, me, myself, and I, I believe that we should have, we should invest in because uh, 
I think it just shows again here it says a strong leader, but we got to let people know that we ain't nobody to be messed with. I'm sorry. Anybody else will come in. We stand firm for our country. You better stand firm for your country. And I think that if we have the necessary resources, such as any particular matter that can create a nuclear weapon, that can help the United States against any form of terrorist attack from any other country, then we should do it. We should waste no time because all those other countries, they're wasting no other time trying to do what they need to do and build stuff to make it to where they can try to own territory turf. You know, they're trying to make missiles and do things and we have to be on point too, okay? So nuclear weapons, yes, I support this. State Health Service. State Health Services is, uh, let's see, citizens pay private their own health treatment. So right now, health, and then uh, the private health care, and then the COVID-19 outbreak is just not really feeling it, okay? So at some point, if we do um, increase this, it will be beneficial for some, but not for all, okay? Intelligence services, again, I don't have assassination on, but again, we should always want to protect those. Not only, uh, you know, intelligence services, not only our citizens, but our assets as well. And this here will show at some point where we want to get higher services like spy satellite network, but if we bring it down, it's just a few aspires. But at some point, we we'll have to look at this and see what matters for the people. Foreign aid. I believe foreign aid is something that uh, work across other countries will help and out. Uh, definitely, again, it says some foreign countries have very poor economics. I think for education, school shortage, it can be, uh, you know, that some countries like us can help out by assisting them. And if we have it, yes. We can do it, we help out. We should not be having it here in our country first before we can even help them. But here, if we have the money, which here is costing us about 5.30 billion in funds, but I really believe that we need to be helping assisting our country out first before we can help out and give foreign affairs to anybody else. Food stamps. Food stamps is something that uh, it's a system where a state will issue vouchers, stamps for citizens on low or no income. I think this is something that will definitely, definitely work out for people who are definitely struggling, people who are working several jobs and doing so much for to raise their family and kids. And we definitely need to help out for food stamps is something that we could look into. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this episode right here, right now. Again, we are looking at the expenditure spending pie, this beautiful organic pie right here, right now. We will pick up on the next episode at disability benefits, okay? So, and then we'll continue in the expenditure, and then we look at the other charts and meet some of the people of this great country. I am Kareem Clemens, and I'll see you guys in the next video. For more information, you guys could visit the blog page. Take care. Bye.